Back at it again in the kitchen. Hello and welcome back to A Random Guy in the Kitchen. Today I'm gonna combine two of the best things in the world. Sugar and cookies. Put it together and you get... Sugar cookies. Intro transition. Now the first thing you gotta do is got a great big mixer because we're gonna be mixing a lot of things. And all this stuff is gonna be pretty hard to mix by hand, so I recommend you do this. Now you wanna set your oven to 350 degrees. Some Fahrenheit, and on bake. And now you wanna cream a couple of things together. First, one cup of butter. Side note, make sure you smelt it in the microwave for a little bit first, but not too much. And next, we need one full cup of sugar. We bring this down, make sure it's secure, and bring it up to a high setting so that it creams. It's mixing! When it looks like this, just stop mixing, it's fine. Now in a separate container, crack open an egg. And now you just do that with the egg. Now set up the mixer again and beat the crap out of that egg! You may occasionally have to scrape the sides so you get everything. And then beat mixing! And now you mix in two cups of flour, two teaspoons of tartar cream. Here's the second teaspoon. And now one teaspoon of baking soda. And now you mix it again, but not as aggressively as before. Mixing time lap! So now it's getting pretty doughy. That's a good thing! Now, it may look pretty good, but try not to eat too much... Too much dough. Let me run out of cookies. Oh, hey, your counter's cleaned off? Too bad, you're getting it dirty again. What I mean by that is we have to put a bunch of flour on it. Dust it, like this. Or dump it if you want. I mean, it's your counter, you decide how dirty you want it. Rolling stick. Now dump your dough all over the flour to get your counter even more dirty. Squish it together if you can. Now you wanna coat it with a bunch of flour. That's right, you need to get your counter even more dirty. Then. Cover the rolling stick in flour. Now you roll it till it's pretty flat, but not really. Also make sure everything sticks. Rolling time lapse. It was around this point in time where things started to go wrong. As I was doing things with the dough, I noticed it was getting quite crumbly. And after a bit, I decided to put it all back in the mixer because I thought it wasn't mixed well enough. I was having some technical issues, but now I think we're good. Turns out that actually was the problem, so it's all good now. Now the dough is actually more doughy. Also, I'm open to suggestions for what I should make in the next video, so leave that down in the comments if you have an idea. Just keep in mind that the dough will take some time to roll. Now since that's all done and over with, it's time to get a cookie cutter. I'm gonna use a donut. Fit as much as you possibly can into the dough that is rolled out. We got lots of cookies. And now we need to get some pans with parchment paper so that we can cook the cookies in the oven. You will need more than one of these trays. Wha bang Since I'm making donut sugar cookies, I'm gonna make these guys separately. Yeah, they're cookie timbits. 
in the oven. Once they are in, set a timer for 13 to 15 minutes because that's how long they take to cook. And now you can finally clean up that dirty counter you've been wanting to get to for such a long time. And now it's time to be weird while we wait for the cookies to bake. Beans. Cheese. Iced tea. Microwave. The basement. Car. Cows. Tide Pods. Don't eat these anymore, people. Unfried Timbits. And now the cookies are done. They look nothing like donuts. Well, that's it for this edition of A Random Guy in the Kitchen. Be sure to turn in next time to see me make something else.